Welcome to a new Draw My Life video. Alice Adventures in Wonderland, commonly shortened to Alice in Wonderland, is a novel written by the British mathematician and author Charles Ladwidge Dodgson, better known as Lewis Carroll. The novel tells the story of Alice Adventures, a girl who, following a white rabbit that constantly says he's late, falls into a rabbit hole that takes her to a wonderful and illogical world. There, she meets many characters, such as the Caterpillar, the Chester Cat, the March Hare, the Mad Hatter or the Queen of Hearts, who will make an adventure out of her trip. The story starts on July 4, 1862, during a boat trip. Lewis Carroll was traveling with the Liddell sisters, three little girls who got bored and asked him to make up a story for them. Carol invents then a story about a girl, and he decides to call her Alice in honor to one of the sisters, whom he loved in particular. Just so you know, the real Alice was not blonde. She actually had dark hair. He named this first story Alice Adventures Underground, and it included drawings made by the author himself. In 1865, the novel is published with a new title, Alice Adventures in Wonderland, with a more developed story and illustrations from a professional draftsman, John Tenniel, with whom Carol had some problems. Alice's story became so popular that it soon called the attention of foreign publishers, such as the New Yorker Appleton, and in no time it was translated into other languages such as French or German. In 1871, Carol published a second part, Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There where Alice has to confront a crazy chess game. This second story, though, did not become as popular as the first one. Lewis Carroll, apart from being a writer, was also a mathematician. By writing Alice in Wonderland, he wanted to prove wrong the idea that scientists didn't have imagination. He was known as an introvert person. He also stuttered, and this condition led to the creation of a character, Dodo, inspired by Lewis himself. But why this name? because sometimes he couldn't really pronounce his last name, Dodgson. Huh, and there are some theories that say Lewis Carroll could have been Jack the Ripper. Carroll was accused because supposedly some of the passages in his books gave clues that anticipated the crimes he was about to commit. But really, no evidence was actually conclusive. 2015 was Alice in Wonderland's 150th anniversary. This story's impact on popular culture is such that we can find a lot of versions of it and works inspired by it. Movies, theater plays, television series, songs, video games, and an opera. There is even a syndrome called Alice in Wonderland, which has to do with the perception of reality. When people have a wrong sense of the size of objects or parts of the body, leading to disorientation and distortion of the senses. The first movie based on the adventures of Alice goes back to 1903, at the hands of the filmmakers Cecil Hepworth and Percy Stowe, 12 minutes long. They both acted in the movie as Carol's characters. Carol, though, never got to watch it, since he died some years before that. Probably the most iconic version is the 1951 cartoon movie by Walt Disney, which tells the story of Alice combining elements from both books. Tim Burton's version is also notable. Alice in Wonderland, released in 2010. Its second part, Through the Looking Glass, released in 2016, changed the director, James Bobbin this time, but kept the original cast. It is also worth mentioning the novel written by the Irish author James Joyce, Finnegan's Wake, or the TV series Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, a spin-off of the popular ABC series Once Upon a Time. Its plot is based on the popular Disney stories and also the American McG video games. And we also have to mention the influence of Carol's iconic characters in multiple songs and video clips, by artists such as the Beatles, Bob Dylan, Aerosmith, Taylor Swift, Avril Lavigne, among many others. Alice in Wonderland is one of the most famous books in the whole world. Since it was first published, it's been printed non-stop, and it's been translated into more than 300 languages. It is obviously a story people fall in love with, and sooner or later, we will all be, again, late for tea. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.